Aloha Hawaii friends. In this video, we're going to talk about how to do Waikiki and Oahu when you don't have a rental car. Whether it's because the rental cars are out, they're ridiculously expensive, or you're not old enough to rent a car. Let's talk about things to do on Oahu that you can do without a rental car. So let's get right to it. Here's 15 things to do on Oahu when you don't have a car. Number one, Waikiki Beach. One of the most beautiful beaches in the world, spend a lazy day relaxing, swimming, and people watching. Number two, hike Diamond Head. Diamond Head is a volcanic cone on the Hawaiian island of Oahu, and it's actually the most popular Hawaii state park. The British soldiers who visited the area in the 19th century thought that the sparkling calcite crystals on the neighboring beach were diamonds. There aren't many places in the world where you can hike to the edge of a volcano, and Diamond Head does not disappoint. A little ways up, there's a rest stop at a lookout point and then you'll make your way through tunnels and stairs. Climb 99 steps to get to the second lookout, and then you'll find a World War II bunker with amazing views. Diamond Head is a quick Uber or Lyft ride or a taxi or trolley ride from Waikiki. These views of all of Honolulu and Waikiki make every step you took to get to the top well worth it. Number three, eat. Whether it's shave ice, malasadas, loco moco, spam, poke, or acai bowls, I suggest you try it all because Hawaii is just a melting pot of great food. Number four, take a sunset cruise or a turtle cruise. Regardless of age, a sunset cruise can be a beautiful way to wind down after a day on the beaches in Hawaii. Here's another fun option. How about you take a catamaran cruise that lets you snorkel with the sea turtles? Number five, happy hour. You've got Tommy Bahamas, Maui Brewing, Tiki's, Duke's, the Haltree Cantina, or the Harbor Bar. All good choices. And number six, take a surf lesson. Certainly no shortage of surf lessons in Waikiki, and I'll list some of them here. And let me tell you, Waikiki is just a great place for beginners to learn how to surf. Number seven, Ala Moana Beach Park, and it's one of my favorites. If Waikiki is a bit too crazy and crowded for you, check this out. White, sandy beach, aqua blue waters, and you don't have the crowds. Does that look relaxing or what? Number eight, snorkel. You can snorkel anywhere there's water, and I don't suggest going out and renting equipment or buying anything fancy. Go across the street to the ABC store and get an inexpensive snorkel set, and you have it for the whole week. Number nine, stand-up paddle. You can find stand-up paddles to rent up and down Waikiki, but you can also get a lesson at the Hilton Hawaiian Village. And you don't have to be staying there, just go to the lagoon and they have them to rent right there. Number 10, Ala Moana Shopping Center. It's located across on the Ala Moana Beach Park and it's the largest open air shopping center in the world. Look how beautiful this place is. You will never run out of things to do. Number 11, Kaka'ako Craft Beer. Kaka'ako used to be just an industrial neighborhood and then it became known for its street art and now it's craft beer. You certainly have your choice of places between Honolulu Beer Works, Aloha Beer Company, Beer Lab, Growler Hawaii, and Hanakoa Brewing. Number 12, find a luau in Waikiki. Just because you're in Waikiki with no car doesn't mean you can't find a great luau. The Starlight Luau at the Hilton Hawaiian Village is very popular. There's Rakahula, which is in the middle of Waikiki in the Royal Hawaiian Center. There's also a great luau right at the Royal Hawaiian Hotel, which is also known as the Pink Place. Okay, lucky number 13, a trolley tour. Waikiki Trolley can get you where you wanna go and it opens back up June 15th. Do 
you go on waikikitrolley.com, you can purchase day passes, four day passes, or one week passes. You can also get your own trolley for special events. Number 14, Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor is the number one tourist attraction in Hawaii. It's an important part of American history and it's really nice to be able to see it with your own eyes. Pearl Harbor is accessible from Waikiki or other parts of Honolulu by Uber, Lyft, or taxi. Then you can kind of do your own thing once you get there and you don't need to pay for a tour. If you'd like a tour, the Waikiki Trolley offers one, as do many other tour companies. Remember, if you do your own thing, get there early and tickets are free. Number 15, Polynesian Cultural Center. It's located in Laie on the North Shore. You can go to a luau, you can see the Breath of Life show, you can visit Polynesian villages, you can do it all. It's accessible by Uber, Lyft, or they have their own shuttle to and from Waikiki. So YouTube is telling me that the thousands of people that watch my videos, thank you so much, but most of you are not subscribed. So here she's stopping dancing so you can take a second, hit the red subscribe button, and then she'll start dancing again. See, thank you so much, mahalo for watching, and don't forget to really subscribe because coming soon we have part two, Oahu with teens, and part three, kids friendly Oahu. Hope to see you there. Have a good one.